Hey, 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 it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. My apologies, this is a re-upload. I did not actually know that there was no sound to the previous post my tracking video, um, which is so, so stupid, I'm sorry. Um, uh, no one told me until basically now. Um, so this is a basically a re-upload um, to this video, so apologies about that, guys. Um, so it, this won't be as long as the previous video, because I did speak in that video. Um, but obviously you can't, the audio, something wrong with the audio. So I'm just going to summarize my post match reaction in a bit of four or five minutes. Um, in simple terms, Manchester United 3, Norwich obviously 1. Norwich were quite poor. United were very good. I think that part helped with the change in the system to 4-3-3 with um, James and Pogba and, um, sorry, James and Marshawn Rashford leading the front line. Um, I also think that... Um, uh, Marshall being back in the team, being able to link up with the play, really, really helped us, gave us confidence. You know, Marshall's third goal in particular, I mean, the work up to the goal was brilliant, but Marshall's third goal and to finish it was brilliant. You know, I do think, and I was watching a video earlier about how Harry Maguire, for example, has been our most creative midfielder in the sense that he's actually trying to go forward and um, and our midfield are not as dynamic enough. But in this game, at least, McTominay, Pereira and Fred and we're trying to do that, and we're doing that quite well, actually. I think that, that worked, and I think McTominay in particular had a, a, a very good game. Daniel James, um, uh, just a bargain for £50 million. Pounds. He doesn't look like he's dissimilar to United in high school at all. He looks like an absolute bargain, and I'm so glad we signed him. And it just goes to show you that there are quality players out there that don't cost £78 or £80 million to get. You know, there are quality players out there that can contribute to Manchester United's side. And that's why having good scouts is good. So from that point of view, I commend United scouts. Um, Wan-Bissaka as well, again, um, was brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant Wan-Bissaka. Um, I think that he, um, you know, he just gives stand-up seven performances every every game. And he really helped them outside. Ashley Young... You know, Ash Young is just doing what he has to do, um, but I, I, I'm looking forward to Sean Williams coming in to really strengthen that side so we can really go and push our fullbacks up. I think that will be really, really um, important, I think, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I think that we got it right. I think that overall, um, especially after seeing Arsenal uh, capitulate, um, you know, to Crystal Palace at home. I think the games we've got, we've got basically got three, we've got um, Brighton, I think, uh, so Bournemouth away, uh, Brighton at home, and then Sheffield United. Um, and those are winnable games, an international break. And those are winnable games, um, not easy games because Brighton, Sheffield United in particular, well, to be honest, all of them, Bournemouth, Brighton United are, in my opinion, mid-table teams that will cause us problems. And Sheffield United already caused Liverpool problems this season. Brighton are scoring more goals than we have. And Bournemouth have an experienced manager, Eddie Howe. So those games are not going to be easy. They are, in quote, winnable. But they're not going to be easy at all. We shouldn't take that for granted. But if we can get nine points in those three games, um, and I anticipate that the likes of Arsenal and Spurs will continue dropping points, um, we can maybe close in on, on that. On that at least narrow the gap to the top four. I don't, it doesn't mean that we're going to get top four because if you look at the way that Chelsea and Leicester are playing and City and Liverpool, obviously, um, it's going to be difficult, you know. Um, but um, at least let's at least attempt to close the gap. And on top of that, let's push in for Europa League as well. Um, man, the match for me, um, I think it probably goes to Scott McTominay. I think, especially with the first goal, I'm, I'm just, you know, help, helping our midfield. I think he, uh, I think he deserves a amount of match response. But I think overall a very good performance. But we need that consistency for his club. And like I said, with Pogba being out, it's, there's more and more pressure to get results. If you like, thanks for listening, guys. If you like what you hear, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.